Hi guys, Mark at Cutter Electronics. Just got some new LDD5s in. Thought I'd share a few tips on soldering as these come as uh, parts. One of the hassles with the dip connectors is you've got to clean out some of the pins. So find pointy nose pliers and uh, you should be able to just grab the ends of those pins and just pop them out. Uh, you can break or cut out the, uh, the pins but it looks a lot cleaner and neater and they sit down a little tighter on the board if you actually remove the, the pins from the board from the uh, socket. Okay, so once you've completed uh, removing the excess pins, pop it into the holder, and into the board, and uh, commence soldering. Um, this does not require a uh, large wattage iron, 25-40 um, watt iron will uh, suffice. Um, just a little heat on the pad, drop the solder on. I use a wedged uh, tip. Which, um, which works just fine. Okay, so that's what the completed board looks like with the terminal blocks and the jaw wipe sockets soldered into place. Um, simple, neat, plain. Just thought I'd throw in an application example using a LDD mounted into the terminal just a single channel into the storm x and the 36 volt cxb 3590 cob which we sell for grow light applications um, just excuse the ballast lines on the uh, video but, uh, all in all um, pretty simple digital control uh, useful for many applications Cheers, thanks for watching.